Hello everybody! The Days of Mischief is here, which is a super fun Halloween themed event we have in Sky. And for this video, we are of course going to find the event currency for today. The event currency can be used to purchase in-game currency items. So these are items that won't cost any real money. We just have to find currency for most of this event to unlock them. So all we have to do is walk up to the spirit here. It might be uh, hidden by some pumpkins, but you'll burn those pumpkins and the spirit will appear. Once we talk to them, they can teleport us here to the Cackling Crab, which is a very expansive area. Alright, so first up, we're going to go across here and we're going to interact with this spirit. And this spirit is going to grant us an event currency, but first, he'll uh, put a little spell on us, a curse. So this is our first currency for the day. And the rest are all below and hidden in the Cackling Crab, so let's head down. Once we head down, we're going to see yet another event currency. It's a good thing they're so glowy and green. They're pretty easy to spot. We're going to be stolen for a very quick cutscene, which you can, of course, skip. We'll pick this up, and this will be our second out of six to find. Just because this place is a maze... Oh, they transformed me. From this cauldron, we are going to go this way, underneath this big bone thing, uh, for our third event currency. So I'm going to kind of direct you from the cauldron for most of these, just so it's easier. From the cauldron once again, we're just going to head into this pit. This is right behind the cauldron, right below those stairs. So this is where we're going to find our final three event currencies, and I hit a crazy lag spike here. So I had to turn the uh, graphics down in my game a lot. Super laggy for me. So we can see kind of towards the right of this big creepy crab, we have our fourth event currency. And then once again facing the crab, we're going to turn to the left, and we should have this jail cell, or this cage here, with a spirit locked inside. Now if you interact with the door, that is a trick. Don't do it. We're actually going to go around here. There's a little hole in the wall, and we can make our way into the prison cell that way. This is our fifth event currency, and from this spirit that's trapped here, it is Skidmore, we can actually get the in-game currency items. So this is where we'll spend our event currency to get some cool stuff. So make sure you're saving up every day and you'll get some neat things. Halloween themed things. So we're going to head back out the way we came, and the final one is by interacting with this big crab thing. Now for me this bugged a lot. Um, but I did eventually manage to come back. So all we have to do is be seen by this thing. A big cutscene will happen. A swarm, an army of crabs will appear. And eventually the event currency will appear on the left hand side. We just have a little cutscene to watch. Now I'm not sure why, but I was fully stuck in place and I could not move. Um. I tried using an emote, I tried sitting down, eventually something just happened and I was able to move. I don't know if this is happening to everyone or if it's just me, but yeah, I just say wait a little bit. Um, I also did that thing where I pulled my sky kids slightly so there's a circle below them and I tried stepping away. I don't know if that's what freed me, but then I saw this weird cutscene and I was like, what the heck is going on? And eventually the camera panned back down to me on the ground and I was able to move. I don't know if this is a bug that's happening to everyone or if I just got really, really unlucky, but here we are and I can pick up that final event currency for today. So this is our sixth one. Nice. Now we do have some more we can collect. Um, these are just the free ones for today. You can also pay for some if you'd like to and I'll show you where you can do that. Back at the home space, we have this boat here, and if we activate the orbs, you can see a few tickets on the bottom. So we have one that you can buy for two Ascended Candles. That is two Ascended Candles for a single event currency spell. Um, so that is pretty expensive. You do not need to buy this. You can actually complete the entire event just by grinding daily, and you don't have to spend any currency at all. But you can also buy one spell for six regular candles, and I think there's an infinite amount of these. I'll have to double check, but yeah, if you're ever short on some event currency, you can definitely recoup your losses that way. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much, as always, for watching, 
and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!